welcome to today's training so uh, in the last video we covered uh, buying a domain uh, so we saw how to find different domains through GoDaddy, Namecheap uh, like basically owning a domain so today's video we will be talking about hosting a website and installing WordPress and the best template for uh, AdSense that has been working for us so <clears throat> yeah uh, the thing is I mean uh, many hosting providers give uh, web hosting uh, so it could be uh, uh, Hostgator, it could be a uh, name chip. So, uh, so in that case, I mean, uh, so we prefer uh, uh, basically GoDaddy's web, web hosting. So uh, we have uh, like website hosting, like business hosting, reseller hosting. So in fact, GoDaddy also has WordPress hosting. Uh, so for this purpose, training purpose, I'll be going over through website hosting that I've own uh, that I have hosted my website and I own in GoDaddy so uh, but then you're not restricted to any other hosting providers you can go ahead and purchase as long as the the speed and the instances are high so uh, now I sit in India so you see all the uh, pricing in Indian rupees so they have uh, uh, like starter economy deluxe and ultimate so in my case I have uh, so I have bought uh, ultimate Linux hosting with cPanel. So all you need to do is I mean create an ac account in GoDaddy Anyway, you would have bought a domain in that so and then basically purchasing an ultimate hosting so um, So once you uh, see the web hosting, so all you need to do is uh, click on manage So once you click on manage what happens is GoDaddy will take you to uh, basically uh, uh, a dashboard where you can uh, actually handle the hosting the business hosting whatever I'm gonna show now <clears throat> so yeah if this is the dashboard and my primary domain is uh, this is the domain that I've been running and uh, I have uh, so with this plan you also get an SSL certificate for free for one year so I have also enabled it so here you see that so and, and then the next option is just click on the cPanel admin um, so let me click on uh, cPanel admin So yeah, on overall, this is the cPanel admin and you see uh, uh, multiple options here, right? Uh, so all you need to do is, I mean, um, uh, so there's an option called web applications, right? So in that I've already installed uh, WordPress in one of my site, but then for uh, the purpose of understanding how to install a WordPress on your site. So I've just clicked on uh, WordPress <clears throat> in the web application. So what happens is so uh, basically this will eventually take you to uh, this is the <clears throat> dashboard for uh, Installatron. Uh, so you have uh, my application, my backup application browser. So here you see WordPress. So uh, when you click on install this application. So it will ask you to for the site that you want to install. Obviously, once you own the domain. Uh, you choose the domain. So if you uh, want it uh, like uh, with www or without or uh, let's say you have enabled an SSL certificate which is HTTPS or let's say if you own a different domain also it's possible. So you can uh, choose it and then uh, you give the administrator username, password and then also administrator email. Uh, so once you give the basic necessary detail and all you need to do is click on just install. So then what happens is GoDaddy basically uh, uh, with the cPanel, whatever the business hosting I have, it will automatically install in WordPress. Uh, once the WordPress is installed, I mean, uh, you will get an option like this. <clears throat> yeah, so this is the newbie to six figures or whatever. Uh, Wellness99.com, wellness99.com slash WP hyphen admin. Uh, so yeah, you, you would have given the username and password and uh, this is the login dashboard of uh, WordPress Right, uh, so this is my site wellness99.com So I have already in, uh, installed WordPress and I am already using the best uh, template that I was talking about So this is one of my site. Uh, so this site has already more than uh, 100 plus content uh, so that I've been uh, doing and I've been earning in uh, AdSense uh, so the best uh, uh, WordPress template, right? 
so it's news mac in forest so basically uh, the best uh, template uh, that uh, which uh, actually suits for uh, our adsense uh, ad placement and adsense earning so the best uh, ctrs that we have uh, seen in last few years is actually a, a template called the news mac so this is available for purchase for uh, $14 in themeforest.net so both the uh, url links that will be provided for you so and then they have multiple options uh, uh, which uh, in in a while i will be showing you so this is the best uh, template that we recommend using for uh, uh, adsense earning but then yeah like if you guys find an, any other template that suiting for you with a better earning of roi you can always go about it so in my case i have already installed uh, news mac so what i will do is i'll just log into wordpress admin <clears throat> So yeah, once the WordPress is installed and the uh, installed in the hosting, so you'll be able to log in. Once you log in, uh, this is the way uh, it looks the dashboard. Uh, and then all you need to do is post buying the template in News Mac. Uh, here you see appearance and uh, themes, right? <clears throat> so you will have to manually upload the theme which you purchased in ThemeForest.net. So they will be triggering in you an email. They will be uh, sending all or also you can uh, just go to your uh, user section. You can log in and then uh, so you can sign in and then you also have an portal to download the theme which you can download it. So in my case, I have already installed the news Mac uh, which is activated uh, in my uh, site. So uh, with this, what is the, the best uh, function is? So here you see the option called News Mac. So they have uh, uh, multiple options. Uh, like you can also install demos. <clears throat> so this, what it does is it gives you the exact way the, uh, the demo site actually looks, right? Uh, so let's say now these are all the different demos that they offer. Uh, so I just go for usually default and sometimes magazine so it depends on the color and the look and feel that you look like so obviously they have an option for preview whichever you like uh, in terms of uh, look and feel you can uh, choose it so i have chosen uh, uh, default as an <clears throat> demo and then so but the only option is only thing is once you install a demo all the demo content get exported and the site basically looks uh, exactly like a, a demo site so this is so let's say now I click on this preview. So what happens is uh, basically the site will look uh, something similar to this once you install the demo content, right? So including the logos, including the this uh, 728 into 90 ad spaces. So this is how the site will look like. Uh, all you need to do is, I mean, once you um, install the demo, uh, like all you can remove all the unnecessary posts and unnecessary pages uh, like for example I will just go to all posts mm. so uh, here you see if you if you see the trash I have 76 items so these are all very demo content so I have about uh, yeah 60 content I'm sorry I was mentioning 100 so I have about uh, 60 content that is uh, live here so what happens is when you uh, uh, install a demo, so this uh, article, uh, demo article will be live. So let's say, for example, if I go to trash, right? So these are all where the demo content that was live in the site. All I need to do is just uh, bulk click and then you will get an, because it will be published for you, you will get an option to um, uh, delete it or move to trash, right? So after which it's all about uh, the content research and getting the content place and ba basically uh, placing the ad codes. So that's how it works. Uh, uh, so yeah, I hope I have covered uh, like basically installing WordPress, uh, buying the best template, uh, then installing the, the best template. Uh, one small quick tip. Uh, so basically um, 
Mm-hmm. Let's say now you are stuck with logo, right? There are multiple places that you can actually, uh, you can hire a freelancer, you can give it on Fiverr. So, but I typically use something called a photo PR. Mm-hmm. So the usual trend in uh, news mag uh, website is the logo size is 272 into 90 pixels, right? So, <clears throat> So photopr.com. So here, what I do is I just uh, create a new um, uh, new project for. Uh, so it has for width and the height as 272 into 90. So and then background I want transparent. So I just click on create. So this is the logo size. Uh, now I don't really uh, create any uh, like fancy fancy uh, uh, images as a logo obviously you are not restricted uh, uh, to just uh, do this way this is just a suggestion so I just choose the text right So and then I what I do is I just choose the text and then I basically extend it. Choose its size. Uh, let's say now I would want to go ahead with this. Then I choose the text that is, let's say in some cases, maybe this works. Okay. The size maybe. So that's it my logo is done and uh, so all what I do is I go to file and then I export as PNG and then I upload uh, <clears throat> for uh, so uh, I will go to theme panel <clears throat> So here you you get all the options for how your header uh, like the style should look like you want the logo in the left or you want the logo in the center. Uh, so but I usually choose uh, style number one because I would also like to place a header ad there. I don't want to miss out on any opportunity. So here uh, you have an option called logo, logo and favicon. You just upload the, the uh, logo ju- you just did it. So this is the way I mean. Um, in terms of installing WordPress in GoDaddy. So I take a ultimate business hosting plan and you are, if you are choosing ultimate business hosting plan, then you will just click on cPanel uh, login uh, in GoDaddy. And then you just choose a web application called WordPress. You install on the domain that you own. And uh, it's all about the buying uh, uh, a theme that's called news mag, news magazine newspaper as a theme and then you download it and uh, you come back to WordPress, you upload your theme and you do a a logo and then you also you change the logo structure here. So yeah, there are two places that you'll have to place the logo. One is on the header 
and one is on the footer uh, so you go to footer info content you see the footer logo here uh, you just click on upload and then you take it uh, the only difference is i mean based on the the uh, demos that you install in the uh, news mag so it depends on the color it looks uh, a little different uh, uh, in uh, so sometimes it is in uh, red background sometimes it is in purple background so when i choose a default uh, theme so i see on the the header it's it's all about uh, white background so i choose uh, a black color uh, <clears throat> uh, font and then when i go to footer so it's in black color uh, background so i choose a white color font so so that it looks uh, pretty decent in terms of uh, once i install the site so that's it for uh, this training and uh, yeah let's catch up in the next training